everyone subscribe right now because you don't want to miss out on this channel we have tons of crazy influencers singers wrestlers you name it on this channel so yeah hey preston how we doing good i just had i was like i'm gonna message him make sure it's about to message you. <laughs> like literally right when you clicked on yeah no no it was the light kept falling so i was try, like i was trying to set it up right before i got on so. <laughs> your hair's different today okay yeah so literally the past now i think it's been a month now i've been trying like a new hairstyle every every day it's like really yeah i didn't think of a new one every day no well i mean it's just like whether like so i'm like this is the longest my hair's ever been like if i put it try try to put it in the front and like it's it's like down to my lips, right? So she was like inverted. So let me see. So so basically I like if I can't put it forward anymore, I used to put it like forward, like kind of like yours, um, Mark. Um, and oh, by the way, nice to meet you. Yeah, um, nice to meet but, you and it's just like trying to put, I, I tried slicking it back once with like no product to see if it would kind of like be like curly slick back, which is kind of like how it is now. And then I tried like, fully side like like middle part and it, that was not it at all and then this one <laughs> this one's just right out of the shower that's why it doesn't look too crazy just like putting it back and then just like that's it like leaving it you know yeah you have real curly hair huh yeah it's like my mom i get it from my mom yeah 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 but yeah mm -hmm. yeah i mean it looks cool thank you that's yeah funny. i like it like that yeah is that your favorite one out of all the hairstyles i mean yeah Ish. I but, wish um, I could do stuff. I used to do like mohawks. I did all bro, kinds of stuff. Drew had crazy mohawks <laughs> that were like green and pink and all this. Stuff. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I, did do, well, I did one blonde. But, uh, <laughs> no, I mean, literally, someone told me I should get, I should get tips. I think I think it was frosted tips or some crap like that. But um, <laughs> I don't think I'm gonna try it uh, anytime soon. But um, what else was it? Uh, what else was I gonna say? I shoot basically i uh, oh no i also wanted to like try to grow out the the beard maybe that's why what I really Damn. yeah like kind of like yours like like a beard or like the mustache and goatee no 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 like for like here too and like full. i mean it's like kind of like it's growing in it's not like fully yet but um i just cut it too i got shaved like a week ago so it's like you know oh yeah just take his time yeah. That's crazy because you used to be baby face now. Like it's so weird. You're like growing up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, we already kind of started, but welcome to the podcast, Preston. <laughs> yeah. Uh good uh good to have you back on third time. <laughs> third time, bro. You're up there. <laughs> Cause like we have a competition right now on like who's who's been on the podcast the most. Really? Senator Ojeda, but um, he's been on four times. But you're getting close. Yeah, you're getting close, I bro. I can, I can beat it. Let's do it. <laughs> but um, but yeah, you're living in New York now, right? No, Boston. Boston. Okay, but, um, what are you about New York for? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I was in New York for um, the summer before my freshman year of college. Um, just I was at, I was trying to do an acting camp, trying to see like which which way I wanted to go, whether it would be like full like music. Like where I'm at now at Berkeley, and then maybe like acting, acting school. Um, you know, like like either AMDA or LA Film or um, I was at um NY. It was a NYU and Stella Adler program in New York. I was it was like a a month or two month program. It was nice, but then I obviously chose music full on. But but yeah, you were wrestling with that choice when we when I had you on last time. <laughs> yeah, that was because that was I was actually right before I I um I left for the summer thing. Hmm. That's yeah. cool. Um, so yeah, you moved from Miami. You originally from Miami and or yeah. or in the area general yeah, area. It's a, little, it's a little north of Miami. That's where I am now. My my room. Oh, I'm oh, home. that's cool. I didn't know you were back home for a little bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm home for the summer. Nice. That's cool. Nice. Um. So yeah, what well, that was a big change though, Miami to where you were. Like, how did you adjust to that? Well, uh, the first thing I was um, told to do from everyone I heard from um, was you got to buy, you got to have a, a whole new closet. Basically, I mean, you look at my my clothes from here. It's only shorts and short sleeves, and so I mean, I took I took a bag of 
that to Boston. Then it, it worked out for the first month or two um, until about like November. And then it got real cold. And and then I, I had I kind of had to go shopping a little bit. But um, I mean, it's nice. I, I like the I personally like the style change because it's like you always wear like jeans. You have like different style jeans or, you know, like jackets. Like I have a friend that like we went thrifting and all he has these real nice jackets. And it's just like a it's like a new style type of thing. But, um, you know, never have to worry about being too hot over there unless during the summer. But <laughs> <laughs> so I've been uh with your stories, I've been like doing screenshots because I knew you're gonna come on, yeah, come back on in a year. So I'm like, I'm just gonna save the stuff and then I'll have it like to yeah. go to talk about. So, um, first thing I got is uh, you uh, in the snow, like snow must be different from you. You're from Miami, that must be crazy yeah. having snow. <laughs> no, I mean, I, I love it. I, I mean, that was actually the first time I not that specific time, but um, in when I was in Boston, the first time I ever saw like real snowfall, and it was it was awesome. I, I mean, I had to go buy gloves. That's why I was like in that um, in that picture. We were on our way to walking to go get a, a new jacket and some gloves. But um, <laughs> it's funny. but and you had to walk everywhere too. I mean, walking or taking the T. We call it the T in New York. It's the so it's like so. New York is the let's take the subway. Um, but but in in Boston, it's called the T. Huh. Really? Tea. Yeah. Is it because of the tea party that happened? No, no, it's. <laughs> It's just I don't know. I mean, well, why they call it that? Then? I don't know. It's it's just literally it's a T. Like that's every, it's on plastered on everywhere. So like, <laughs> all right, let's go to the T. Like you know whatever. It's it's interesting. <laughs> oh, but, that's um, interesting. Get, my, also, what's what's different too? Like, um, everyone over there for art for my school, we call it um like our cafeteria. We call it the calf, just like calf, uh, C A F. Mm. And I, I said that too. Like my friends down here, I was like hanging out with them. I was like, um. I was like, how's your calf? And you're they're like, what? And I was like, how's your calf? Like you're like whatever. And then he, they were like, you know, it's so weird. Why do you say that? <laughs> Why do you say yeah. that? But like, but I mean I, I kind of you get used to it, you know, like you don't you don't think about it after a while, but there's like differently things that are different. That's yeah. Nice. Um so one of the things you retweeted from your mom, or not retweeted, but you know what I'm saying. Uh yeah. as much she's gonna miss you and she and she was crying and stuff, like um, yeah. and then you posted another one about your mom, like you know, uh, yeah. you know, Mother's Day, uh, Women's Day, or whatever. Yeah. Like, how how has it been like being apart from your mom? Because that's a real important relationship from you. Like, because I, I know we you talk about a lot about your mom, like even on on social media and on the podcast. Like. Yeah. Well, I mean, she we she calls me every day, every day. Like, uh, she sets a time. Um, she gets like home from work around like seven, like or six or seven. So she's driving home from from her work and she, it's like a it's like a 25 minute drive and so she calls me every every day every time she's coming home from work and we talk a little bit i tell her about my, about my day she says you still going to the gym like because she likes my consistency like i um i started going to the gym like in january trying to beef up you know but <laughs> but um but yeah so she she just talks to me every day so it's, it's really nice and it feels like it keeps the relationship strong so this one was from last year. I, I think last year they postponed Post Malone. I'm livid. <laughs> yeah. wait, wait, wait. wait, do I still have my? <laughs> that I'll face is hilarious. Me. You you never look mad or anything. So it was like really weird to see you looking like. <laughs> yeah, look. Hold on. I think I. Yep, yeah, it's right here. This is actually perfect. So, all right. So that that picture was. I think that date was. Uh, that was September 23rd. I'm sure I think it was around then. And they, so I, it was, the, I don't know if you guys remember, but Post Malone was, he was on tour and he, he got, he was like, he fell. He you know, fell through that thing and hit him. And he broke Wait, his, his rib. stomach or what he hit? He broke his ribs. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah okay. Rib. And I mean, he finished that performance, but ours was the next one. Like oh, literally the next, the so next he had week. to postpone the show. <laughs> so he he was like, "Yo, guys, I'm gonna take like a, a week break." Or whatever. And I was like, "Bro, this is crazy." Like I was, and that was actually my one of my birthday presents too from my birthday. I, like I I split it with my brother. My brother was like, "Oh, yo, I'll, I'll get this for your birthday." And I was like, "Yo, thank you." Um, but he was like, "All right, but I'm not gonna get the whole thing because it was a I wanted to get front row." And I don't know if you you saw the after like when I actually went to the concert, I was. 
I was on the look. I was on the front. Hold on. Yeah, I got a picture of it. Hold on. Let me see that. Let me see that. Yeah. Bro, right there. That's the gate to. Dang, like, that's the gate. Yeah, it's for him. Like he he. I touched him like at least five times, and and so that that ticket was like, I think that was like. A, I mean, it was pretty like. And to, to be front, it was like pretty. She was like 600, 700 to be front, front. And so I mean, a good investment for me. Post Malone is one of my favorite artists ever. Um, and so yeah, the, that one that show I was so annoyed because like I was waiting so long and I thought they were gonna cancel it and I would have been pissed. I, I wanted him. And I'd been a I'd been to the concert before that too. Last time we went on tour, uh, the Hollywood's Bleeding one. So, but that one I was in. I was all the way in the back. But look at this. And I, I have a video of it too. So at the end of the show, he actually signed my signed shoe. shoe. And I have a video of him doing it too. Bro, it was that makes it even better, bro. The video yeah, actually, my favorite shoes too. Like they're pretty nice. Wow, that's crazy. Bro, so sick. Post Malone. How about them cowboys? How about them cowboys, man? Hey, how about them cowboys? Got some from Halloween. I was gonna ask you what you're wearing and the because I, I can't I, I can't. actually have it right there too. That like, was um I don't know if you know the movies, The Gremlins. Yeah, that was a gremlin. That was a gremlins. I was like a gremlin. I was actually, what's his name? Uh, Ma, Ma, uh, Mogwai or something like that. Mo, I don't know what his name is, but um, <laughs> but it was it was like that was one of my favorite movies as a kid. Um, I remember my mom showed it to me because she she like hated horror movies, but her sister was like, "Oh my god, no! You have to show him like that was we watched that as a kid," and I was like. Right, let me see whatever so it was i just always would replay it and i love that movie so <laughs> i have one from a road trip where we, uh, i always like to talk about road trips I'm, I'm big on like traveling and stuff uh where were you going it said like 22 hours or something like that, that was actually my drive back from boston oh really yeah so i i had a lot of stuff and like literally everything in this room i mean i, I was just i took over there and i brought it back um, in this little car with my mom. It was just me and my mom. And um, it was, we did it. We tried to do it straight on, but we, we took a little nap, like two hour, like sleep in this parking lot. It was, <laughs> it was really creepy too. It was like, I think in, this was in South Carolina. It was empty, just a huge parking lot. And there was this light flickering and then we were like, oh no, it was creepy. And then my mom, my mom, I like, I woke up because it was only like an hour or two, but I woke up and she, she like opened all the windows and I was like, you're crazy. Like, she was like, oh, I was hot. And I was like, so anyone could have just, come. I was creepy. But anyways, <laughs> that was, uh, that was an adventure. It was just coming back home, honestly. Um, but I mean, it was, it was nice. I mean, I like driving too. Like, I, I don't know if I told you this last time, but in my high school, my high school was like 25, 30 minutes away from my house. So every every morning it was up and down. Um, and then towards the end of my high school, I, I got to drive that. So kind of got used to driving. Yeah, it's it's so funny to to do the ones each year with you because the first yeah. time we talked, you were like, you're like, Yeah, I think I'm a good driver. My mom doesn't. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. She <laughs> she like had to start admitting that like I was like a good driver. So she was like so, I mean, she let me, she let me drive all the way back from Boston. So <laughs> that's funny. Um, I have one from spring break. Oh yeah. What did you do for spring break? That was a great week. We actually came down to Miami, my home. Um, a few of them slept here too. But um, so I, I actually, I kind of got along and like started hanging out a lot with like um, a lot of seniors, which is super random, but like, I just kind of like really like clung towards, um, a few people and they like happened to be seniors. So they were kind of independent. And if this trip would have been anywhere else, I probably wouldn't have ended up going. Like if it was going to be in LA or like New York, but, um, they, they chose Miami. So I was like, I live here. This is great. <laughs> and so, 
um i actually um got to drive them around too i was like yo i'll be your i'll be your driver for everything like it all worked out perfectly i got a car like don't worry about it so um yeah it was nice we spent the week here um we ran around a lot around winwood that's where a few of them had their hotels and then a little bunch of them had them in south beach because they wanted the full experience you know but um you know it was it was nice it was a fun week I love South Miami. Like, wait, so is South Beach like the spot to go to? Because I've never been to Miami, so no. Okay, so well, I would say as a tour, like if you're gonna like be a tourist, yeah, um, then like yeah, like that's like the spot. Um, either that or like downtown or Wynwood. Uh, Wynwood's nice. What is oh, Wynwood? Brickle. Oh, Wynwood is. You know, have you ever heard of the Wynwood walls where like the the paint it's like spray painted walls of like different art it's like spray painted art walls okay. um yeah is it's it on right. a beach or no so south beach is winwood's like right off the um so i don't know if you like know but like florida is like florida and then like a little like sliver of water and then like an island which is like miami beach okay so that's where like all the beaches are and winwood's like right where it's like the it's like the coast of like real florida you know it's like an art district and there's like stores and stuff too that are kind of cool and it's a it's a really cool area yeah but um but yeah definitely that and brickle which is like a city in miami um is like definitely the best place to go like as a for like a hotel to be like a tourist um but i personally like my favorite part of miami is coral gables it's super chill like it's like covered in like trees um just like it kind of like it's it's like now nostalgic to me for some reason like i i used to go there as a kid and just like drive through and the trees like over like many of like um like the roads they just hang over so it's like i don't know it's it's super chill but yeah i love miami something from something called nolan fest that was like uh, sometime last year. You were with one of your people from Acapop uh, Kids. Yeah, it's Eliza. Um, and that was kind of performed at it, I think. Yeah, that was in July. Um, we, uh, I'm not sure if you know much about Nolan Fest. Um, I, I googled it, but yeah, go ahead and tell us about it. Yeah. That. So basically, um, a couple of years ago, sad to say, um, one of our Acapop members uh, died, passed away suddenly, and um, their family, you know. They, they looked at it in a very, obviously it was, it was a way to, you know, remember him to like throw this little, um, that's kind of a, fe- a festival of like celebration, kind of celebrating his life. Mm-hmm. Um, so we've been doing that every year. This one uh, actually this year is July 15th. So you'll, you'll be seeing that too. Um, so we kind of just, we go up there, there's people that perform, um, you know, I'm probably going to see Eliza there too again this year. Um, and you know, I mean, it was it was tough at first because I mean, the first Nolan Fest was three years ago now, and you know, it was like really, it was like really like hard to like. It was hard to see it as like a celebrating thing when you you know you're you're celebrating a death, right? But um, it's it's nice now to like not thinking about death, but thinking about like you know his life. You know, it was um. But whatever, it's it was it's tough. But like you know, it, it's it's just celebrating his life. You know, it's like awesome, and we're gonna perform this year too. I gotta figure out what song I want to sing. So, so last time uh, I had somebody on from The Voice, Andrew Igbokiti. Uh, I don't know if you if you kept up with The Voice or not, but um, he he's really cool. But we did a um, musical uh, word association game. I sent it to you. I don't know if you ever watched Wait. it. <laughs> Mark. Uh, Mark's really good at it. I don't know if Bro, you I'm terrible at it. I got <laughs> none, right? You just beat me and all this. <laughs> so, I was going to do first to five if you're down, Preston. Yeah, totally down. Be okay. careful, Preston. All right. the last time Wait, got, uh, explain seconds. the rules. Explain the rules. I got to know the rules. <laughs> you got like 10 seconds. I'll do a little count. Um, and the, I'll pop the word up on here. So. Okay. Words go pop up. I'll start the count, and you try to come up with a song that has that word in it. And, and does, it have, does it have to be the like the first word? Nope. It, just as long as it's in it. All right, all right. Okay. One, two, three. I'm 
I'm in love with the shape of you. <laughs> Dang, Preston. <laughs> okay. So that that's so funny. Bro, I, I could not think of it. I was thinking of um, you know that song, e, this ain't even jealousy. Oh yeah, that, 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 has, you, right? that has you, and then I couldn't figure out what the rest of the words were. I was like, much but, after uh, that, yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm up, you I'm up, I'm up. Up. Mark. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. I'm feeling yeah, good. I'm feeling good. Andrew mopped the floor with him. Okay, bro, bro. for real. And we gotta talk about we gotta talk about Miami and Boston too. Just to okay. <laughs> the shape of you. I'm in love. Uh, with you. Uh, <laughs> that's great. Yeah. I'm done. <laughs> Use my that own was word. funny. <laughs> my own song. I mean. uh, that okay. One to one. All right. All right. All right. Bro, this is hard. Why can I do this one? Or, or. Bro, what? No way. Or, or that's such a. That's like a weird. Like, <laughs> that's hard. I, I, I can't. Even... I can't think of that. <laughs> it, it may be in every song, but it's like you don't even think of that word. Yeah, bro. you don't think <laughs> of it. Baby, uh, baby, 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 baby. Oh. Wait, who got it first? <laughs> I think I think he started. First. I think I won that one. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Two to one. Oh, Ophelia, you belong <laughs> to me. Da, da, da. <laughs> That's a good song. I like this. Dun, da, da. <laughs> <laughs> uh, two to two. Oh, only, um, only. Only, only. <laughs> you got one for oh no no we don't it's okay oh wow okay okay, okay 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 you live in my dream state you live in my fantasy nah, that's that's a good one hey, that's a good one Right, Tyler, the creator, is crazy. Three Do you like three. Tyler? I love Tyler. Interesting. Uh, no. What's that marriage one? Uh, it was like, uh, I don't care if you say no. You know what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh. Dang, <laughs> come on, Drew. I know you got one. <laughs> I, know you got one. No. I can't think, bro. I'm really trying to. You no. Got it? Yeah, dude, no. Looks like you're working on it, Preston. No. But. <laughs> <laughs> What do you, wait, do you guys know that song though where it's like the guy's like um asking the dad to marry her and he says no, but I can't remember how the song goes. Can I have your daughter for the rest of my no, life? Yes, yes, because I need to know. Yeah. No, 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 no. But the that answer is nice. still no. <laughs> that was it. Is the answer still no? <laughs> yeah. Uh, that would have been a good one. Me. This scene in the LSE. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Dang. Okay, so uh, let's finish the last two because might as well. Cause... Might as well. Might as well. Have yourself a merry little Christmas. Oh, you actually got the next one too, then. <laughs> Uh, double what, bro? What? <laughs> that's, <crazy. laughs> that's actually crazy. That's actually <laughs> that is that's funny. What, bro? What are the chances? <laughs> yeah, no, that's <laughs> crazy. Uh, um, so yeah, um, getting kind of back to talking about things. Um, we never, we've never talked about this before about your spirituality. Like, 
what you know religion or lack of religion or anything yeah all right so um i, I grew up a christian i went to a christian high school uh, i mean a christian from actually pre-k to 12th grade um my whole life so i would consider myself christian nice oh cool yeah oh, we already t- uh, answered that one i was gonna ask you about working out if you were still working out or not because <laughs> you talked about that now. Oh, did we talk about okay so i'll be honest um when we had when we had this last time last year i was i was working out and i was working out hard i was i was going great and then when i went to new york when i went to new york i i got like a really nice membership to like just for like because i was only going to be there for like a month right so i was like you know what? let me splurge right let me get this really nice gym because like like i know it's new york's gonna be really dirty if i go to like a more crummy gym so i was like all right it's fine and also my um my apartment had the shower that was disgusting, like literally like disgusting. The because it was it was it was like a community shower in like a New York like dormish. Oh. It was horrible. So I was like, I went to this this gym and I was looking inside. Oh my god, the bathroom, like it was a locker room, but it was so nice. And they had so many showers and they're all super clean. So I was like, wait a minute, wait a minute. Let me think about it. If I do this correctly. I basically just go to the gym right before I go to bed, but then shower there. And it was super close to my to my apartment. I'll just walk from the gym back home and that's it. Go to bed, right? So I did that every every night, right? And it was great. But I had a weekend where I went to LA. Um, and that was for I don't know if you remember this, but I posted like doing like boy band stuff. Um it was just, it was like a, I was just like auditioning for this boy band. It didn't end up working out, but you know, I was there and we were like kind of celebrating like the weekend, right? So we went to Yard House, and not to not to put all like everything on Yard House, but um, I got the uh, the tuna nachos. It was like pokey nachos or something, and I got the worst food like like poisoning. poisoning? I, yeah, food poisoning. It was horrible. And when I got back to New York, it lasted for like a week, a week and a half of just like feeling like not like I couldn't go to the gym. I, I would literally go to the gym to, to shower and that's it. I would and I went back home and I would barely eat. And so I got back to like super, super skinny and it was so annoying. And then after that, I kind of like my mindset wasn't on working out and then I just it kind of fell apart. But then this January got back on it and now i've been there i've been there like at least three or four times a week which is good dang that's good yeah yeah motivated you had horrible nachos while you were in new york did you did you ever try like new york pizza yeah yeah for sure i feel like is it all it's checked up to be or no i mean of course i mean it's like it's like the thing they're most like known for so i mean they they do it really well but um, I will say, I enjoy, and maybe this is just because I've had it more, but Boston pizza, hmm. a lot. Really? Yeah, yeah. Really Did you cool. have any other New York experiences we haven't talked about? Yeah, I know they're big on like Broadway musicals and stuff, and I, I think you're interested in Broadway, aren't yeah. you? Yeah, I mean, I um, I actually went to the Phantom like three times while I was there. Um, that was like that's been me and my mom's favorite show, Broadway show. And so every time I'd make a new friend, I'd be like, yo, we should go check out the Phantom because uh, they um, their tickets were only like 40 bucks. So I was like, and I'm, that's still a lot for like a musical, but like it's like compared to like any other show, which is like 200, 300 a ticket, which is crazy. So, yeah, I just kept going to the Phantom. It's really nice. And we would get box tickets every time, like sit right like, you know, on top of the thing because the Phantom like came down. So like since I know, knew the show really well, I was like, yo. Let's sit right where we like the phantom comes down. So like whatever. So it was, it was really nice. But yeah, it's like my favorite musical. Cool. Um, I forgot where I was going. <laughs> um, oh, you're from South Miami. We talked about that a little bit. Um, me and my friends, like I've w- I went twice now, and like they both got tattoos both times that they were there. It's sure. called Tattoo Circus, and it looks <laughs> amazing. Like I don't know if I put it in. Here. Dang, I, mean, I didn't. It looked like my friend got this like rose. I might splice it into this later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks like amazing though. Have you ever thought about getting any tattoos or anything like that? 
So I actually, I'm kidding. I don't have a tattoo, but um, I, wanted, <laughs> I wanted to get one like, like, like something that like kind of like wrapped around my arm. Like, if you know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, one of my, one of my friends actually had like birds. I think there were sparrows that went like from here to like his bicep right here. Um, and I thought those were super sick. So I might, like, I know, I know copying someone's tattoo is like pretty like tough, but um, I don't know. That, those are really like that. But if I got anything, it would be like right here, like boom. You know? Yeah. So like a sleeve. Yeah. That's what they call it, I think, is a sleeve when it yeah. goes around. But not like fully like covering like everything, yeah. but like, you know, yeah. Yeah. That's cool. That and maybe, maybe like a shoulder. I'd be too nervous for like that big or something. <laughs> like, yeah. Yeah. have to be a little. But, <laughs> One of my friends just got like a like a lion like right like here. Like a big lion? Like a like literally fully covered like <laughs> yeah. right here. And yeah. then you got like I think you got like Jesus praying right here too. And then like I think he's gonna get like birds here. He's gonna do a whole thing with like clouds or something. Hmm. That's pretty That's cool. cool. Yeah. So I can edit this part out if you don't want to answer or whatever. <laughs> like, and we never talk about politics. So we haven't done that. But I just wanted to ask one, because uh, you are from Florida. Yeah. Um, I was wondering what you think about Ron DeSantis and his, like, don't say gay bill and the, the war on woke and Disney and all that yeah. stuff. <laughs> Honestly, I haven't been keeping up with that at all. Um, like, like, I just, I don't, I don't know, like, what, what has been going on, like, what he's been, like, doing. I, I I did hear about the don't say gay thing though, um, and what, that? what did he say? He was like, so basically, I think it's it's just basically like don't teach. What is it? Don't teach. Well, like, like teachers can't mention if they're like married to somebody that's of the same sex. They're not supposed to mention that. They're not supposed to say anything about being gay or anything like that. Like if you're straight, it's fine to mention your wife or something. Yeah. But like if you're gay, you can't. You're not supposed to mention anything about it. Like stuff like that. Yeah, it, it's, it's like a weird like place that gets like super, I mean, controversial for sure. But um, I mean, uh, it's it's hard because like it's like there's so, so many things that go into it because it's like at one point it's like, OK, you're like you're keeping things like from people. But then it's also like uh, it's hard because like there's so many different like families like Cause like it should be like you're you're raised how your parents raise you, right? So like if there's certain parents that don't want certain things in a school, I mean it's but you're okay. Sorry, could you religious. repeat that? You you kind of froze and broke up a little bit. <laughs> yeah. No, I was just I was just telling I was just saying like there's like her certain I would like feel like certain parents would be like obviously against. Uh, getting their kid taught that but then also like some parents wanting their kid to be taught you know different things so it's like how do you mix those you know yeah uh, i'm just really glad that you weren't like you know maga make america great again oh, like i hate the woke and all this because like i've been like oh god i really liked him until now <laughs> <laughs> i was a little afraid to ask almost <laughs> oh yeah I'm actually going on something called Politics Weekly because of that Ojeda podcast that we did. Like somebody right. asked me to come on it, and I'm I'm a little bit nervous because like Congress people and senators and stuff have been on it. I'm like, why are they asking me to do this? Yeah, but... <laughs> they definitely watched the last one though. They, yeah. Um, Wait, but... yeah, yeah. Isn't he running for pre um, president though? For yeah, Ron. 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 Yeah, Ron. Just yeah, yeah. He just he just like I think he just um, was it like pulled out the paperwork or something like that. Well, so he, he announced it on Twitter with Elon Musk, but they announced it on a live stream that Twitter's not really designed to do. It's like a new thing. Really? So when they were on it, it was like breaking up and you could hear Elon saying like, well, it's not working because of this and that and the other. And then like Ron DeSantis disappeared from it for him a little bit. And then he popped up back on it. And like all this stuff was happening and like it was going in and out and it was just like a big mess. And I think I think Trump made fun of it later. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't the, it wasn't the best start. <laughs> Trump never misses the opportunity to clown on someone when that's funny. <laughs> <laughs> but um, okay, so uh, what have you kind of learned at, at Berkeley? Because like when I think about you know, even when we talked on our first podcast, you were like, 
you didn't really think there was that much free to learn because like, you know, you'd been performing like your whole life. But then on the next one, you're like, well, I went there and yeah, there is some stuff for me to learn. <laughs> well, there's like, what have you, what have you learned there? And like, feel free to get into the woods about music or whatever. Like, even if I don't understand that you guys still. It's not even like what, like what I've learned yet. It's, it's, I've, I've learned that I don't know anything basically, you know, <laughs> like that type of thing. Um, they, um, there's like a whole new side. There's like a whole other side to music. That's like, like, it's like, I didn't like, it doesn't even like anyone else, like wouldn't even know it existed, you know, that type of thing. And I was, I was still studying music even before I got there. And it's still, it's like, Oh my gosh. It's like, ah, uh, so much. It's like, it, obviously they do, they do it well enough to like, they ease it into your brain. But like this year, it, it's it's hard. also what I, I did want to say so it gets hard because I feel like since all that complicated stuff isn't taught at like younger ages like a high school or something like, like stuff like that they teach like easier things to get that are like further down in the curriculum so let's say like for example um uh, like chords right so they'll teach people chords like in a high in high school um but then they'll go on to like further things but they haven't really finished what like fully learning about chords so then when you go into like like berkeley which they know everything um when they teach you about chords it's completely different so at first you're like oh you know bro i've learned this before but then they start they continue going on let's say adding like tensions so I don't know if you know anything about tension, but like you have a chord, let's say you have a, a triad, which is three notes, a three note chord, but then you have to add the nine, which is like, now it's a four note chord, but then you could add like another one and then another one. So it's like, it gets to like, you could play like so many different things and I still am trying to understand it, but um, yeah, it gets, it gets tough, but I'm trying to learn. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how, you, how have you learned? I mean, learned. How have you kind of grown since you've been in college for like a year now? I've kind of realized that I definitely I need to I need to figure out where what I want to do. You know what I like where I want to go. Hmm. Also, um, I've learned a lot through having like little sessions with people. Um, so, like I know this guy. His name is Julian, and he's he's an amazing producer. He's also a great singer and he knows how to play like every instrument, but, um, he's, he's just great. Like at like, I don't know. He knows like the specifics, like when, like when recording a song or like playing an instrument or like he was talking to me about like frequencies one time, like, Oh, like he, he would hear like, a like a sound that it was like part of his, his test or part of his like class he was doing. He would hear a sound and he's, he'd be like, uh that's like uh 300 hertz okay and i was like what like it was it's just sound you know it's just sound to me but um you know he gets it gets really interesting but um he's he's great and i had a few sessions with him and he's like oh wait he's actually uh i don't know if you heard you saw the the cover i did with with the guitarist Some, what was the song it was it was called sometimes by mac airs not sure let me see. Oh, okay. I tried to I tried to listen to anything you put up. Did you put it on, on like TikTok or Instagram? Oh, I would put it on both. Um, okay, yeah, then I, I've heard it then. Yeah, because yeah. I've heard your last few that you put out. This song right here. Blame it on case. Yeah. So that song that's also one of my favorite artists now. Um, but uh so the guitarist, that's actually Julian. Like he he was like, Oh yeah, I'll play the guitar. And I was like, Yeah, yeah, let's record it, let's make a video or something. But um, yeah. So that's Julian. He we we've been doing a lot of sessions. He's been teaching me a lot. So I've been learning a lot through that. Cool. Yeah. Have you made a, a lot of friends? It seems like you have. Yeah. I mean, it, it's just a great place for networking and learning from other people. And for sure, Julian's like one of the best people to learn from. Yeah. yeah I, I saw this and I didn't take a screenshot of it, but you performed at the Maltz Jupiter Theater and they're yeah. like. And reopening it's that the was, largest regional theater in the southern half of the united states uh yeah. do you have anything to uh, share about that i mean that was just an amazing experience i worked with them when i was like 10 or 11 years old and i i loved it there i mean it, it was 
at the time, like when I was that young, I couldn't do like the bigger productions, but um, they were always just still like, especially um, like the head of the whole like program or not program, like theater um, is Andrew Cato. And he, he just, he works like really well. Like his, his, like he knows how to manage, you know, like he knows how to like do things. So, I mean, he runs the theater great. And when, uh, when I was working with him, obviously, like I said, I couldn't do like the big productions cause they, they go to New York to audition people for that. But, um, you know, he would, he would still open other things up for me. Like he, I know they do like a little, like they do like a news pamphlet thing to like promote their shows that they're going to do like throughout the year. And they would just get like different people to, to be like, like, let's say they were doing like Aladdin. Right. And, but they weren't like, they weren't cast for that yet. So they'd get like different, like a fake cast to like play like for like a, a 10 second, like clip of like Aladdin. Right. Just like, you know, characters just to promote it. And so like, he would, he would always include me in that. And um, I kind of just got a great relationship with him. And yeah, I actually did. Do you remember that crazy picture of me with like huge hair? Um, it was like Susical. Maybe. Yeah, I'll probably, yeah. probably see it again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But it was just this. this cra- I was I was eleven in the picture, and um, we did Susical, um, the musical. I don't know if you know that musical, but um, uh, yeah, it was like it's like a combination of like Horton Hears a Who, like uh, amazing movie, by the way. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's one of my favorite movies. But they made a music. And Wait, um, how old are you now, Preston? I'm 18. I'm about to turn 19 in July. Really? Damn, you're still super young, bro. Makes me feel like an underachiever. Drew's <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I mean, <laughs> so, but yeah, no, that was, it was just a great uh, opportunity. He was like, yo, I'm, I'm doing a grand reopening. Like, I would love for you to be a part of it. And I was like, let's do it. Like, I'd love to. What do you want me to do? He was like, I just want you to sing one song. And I was like, perfect, even better. Like, perfect like you know like i was just he was just like oh yeah you just come down or like this time whatever and it was great it was actually originally supposed to be a duet um with another girl but she ended up she couldn't do it so, so he was like you know what just give him the whole thing and i was like <laughs> yeah, yeah. that's cool that's funny um is there an arena or a theater you think like i'd love to perform there because like i'm not even a performer and i i would like the Coliseum in Las Vegas. Like, I think that would be like yeah. an amazing one. Is yeah. there one that you kind of have in your head? So one that I, I mean, I've only, I've only just like, cause really you can, you can make any, like uh, any, like, you know, any stadium, any like basketball stadium. Um, you can make that into like whatever, like, you know, like inside, like you could change like the stage or whatever. But um I mean, I would just say since I, it's like the only place I've seen like the most concerts, um, TD Garden, you know, where the Celtics play, that would be like, that would be like, cause that's like, high, that's like top, that's like high, that's where like Post Malone, like, I'm not sure if Taylor Swift's playing there, but um, it's just like, that's where they, the huge, go cause it's a huge, huge audience, you know, Hold, holds like 30, 40,000 people, bro. Like I would love to fill a stadium like that. Yeah, that's where you saw the Post Malone concert. Yeah. Um, so Puma, you you've done you've still done some stuff with them. Still, he's yeah. endorsed by like he he, uh, he does some commercials and stuff for them on like for Puma, Instagram. really. Yeah. yeah, for like Instagram and stuff. Yeah, yeah. how they come about you? Like, did they find out to you? Did you reach out? Yeah. So actually, um, I first cool. I first started with them. Um, with my, you know, you remember Mackenzie, Mackenzie Brooke, the TikTok star. Um, yes. Yeah. 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 So she, uh, I was like, I was always posting TikToks with her. I've known her like my whole life, but her mom was like, yo, we need, we need more like kids, like for like a Puma, like thing or endorsement that we're going to do with TikTok. And I was like, oh yeah, I'll do that. Like, let's do it. Like whatever. I was like, and this is when I was like 16 and we started doing that and it kind of just like it didn't work out like how it was supposed to work out. Like the group didn't really like, cause it was supposed to be like a group thing. Like the kids that like, got together and stuff, it just didn't, it just didn't end up working out. So we, um, that fizzled out, but then one of the like heads of that 
like thing or whatever reached out to me and they were like yo yo would you like to do like a separate thing just you and puma and i was like yeah yeah <laughs> um so uh yeah i started doing that and that was that was like last summer when i started that so yeah yeah um so this is out of left field but um just i'm wondering what your thoughts are um artificial intelligence has kind of been kicking up and stuff and like they can do stuff with voice and what you see does they're that really worry you a little at all because <laughs> like, the they're green really and now they're like creating this like thing that can replicate sounds and stuff yeah. like i mean i heard i literally i was scrolling through tiktok i heard a drake song i was like and then i was like yo this is fire i went to go look for it and, uh, and it was nothing and i was like it was a fake ai I, so I was like wait 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 because it's weird bro it's really weird like it's freaks me out because like literally people can now like i feel like if i'm obviously like i wouldn't do this but like you know there's people that can like like let's say drake right let's say he's like he's tired of like writing music right he's like all right guys um pull up my ai and just throw <laughs> down a random track and he's like all right great and now i don't have to go into the studio for the day i'm good and like and now we're just listening to like nothing like you know like and he doesn't have to do it. Oh, it's just—it's creepy. <laughs> Imagine doing that with your voice. I don't just think type in a little Preston prompt. That's crazy. It's uh, very—it's creepy to me. Like I just feel like I don't know. Well, I mean, it's also like behind every like story like we've ever heard, like from kit from being kids, like computers always turn on us, bro. You know, like, <laughs> they gain consciousness at some point. Like it's coming, bro. And, and like a year from now, when we're doing the next podcast, I'll be like an artificial intelligence thing, and you will. Yeah. Be, we're no, not no. Even talking to each other. It's just you'll, like you'll you'll be you'll be like chilling on your computer watching TV. Be like, oh, I was supposed to do my my podcast today. You'll click a button, and your AI will do it for you. <laughs> and I'll just be here. Bot. Yeah. <laughs> um. So yeah. Um. You have a, a couple of movies that you recorded, right? or that you filmed like yeah i i did one and then we're actually filming one this summer oh okay cool yeah, um that one was a christmas one do you think it's possibly coming out this christmas it is coming out this christmas nah. 2023 heck yeah can you say the name of yeah yeah it's called um it's a so it's like, let me show you actually we have a, like a little picture like frame thing yeah and so, uh, two of the stars in it was from the uh, like Power Rangers, Power Rangers. Or... yeah, it's called Once Upon a Christmas Eve. So, Once Upon a Christmas Eve, okay. And where is this uh coming out on? So, I mean, we have we don't have like a specific date, I know they're finishing up. Um, oh, no, like is it coming out on any platforms? Like, oh, um, well, website or we'll get back to you on that one. I don't know that one either. We're like, I think they're trying to, they're doing a few deals, I think, okay, maybe, maybe. but um, let me get this. I was a background character in two movies. One of them came out, and the other one never did. Like, <laughs> you were a background character, Drew. Well, I was like, you know, you know, like didn't have any speaking parts or anything. I was just like, one of them was a zombie movie, and they did your makeup and all this stuff. And like, okay. the guy, the guy put a little bit of blood on everybody else. For me, he got this huge bucket of blood and he dumped on. He's like head trauma, and he because it was like <laughs> I was the last one in the line, and I was so sticky, and I had, and we were there all night long. And like I could barely move, and there was this girl that I really liked. That like we, <laughs> like we we had been hanging out all week, and this was like our last night together. Like we were gonna be doing, and I'm like, I'm just like the sticky, horrible mess, and I couldn't like move or anything. I'm like, fuck this guy. <laughs> <laughs> I was so mad. <laughs> Dang, but, uh, that's good. I was looking for it. I, I couldn't find it. But wait, wait, Drew. What was that movie called? Because before we uh, this. Dance of the Dead. It's on Netflix, I think. Yeah. Do you have anything else you're working on, Preston? Um, I would, I would say just uh, hold out for some of my own music. You know. Gonna, Which you said uh, you'll do a song for us at the end of this, so that'll that'll be coming up in a minute if you're still down. Yeah. No, I actually wanted to show you um this song I've been listening to. It's uh, what's it called? It's so it's called Brand New. I think it's called brand, yeah brand new and it's by mac airs the one i did um on, on my instagram already I, just same artist but the different song um it's just his his music is so like oh it's just beautiful you know like when you're like it's i'm like i'm into the music where you just 
you can listen to it and you could just like pass out just like like you're on a cloud and that's what i love so this is yes this is brand new by mac airs it's one of my favorite songs right now um let me show that to you i got i got a song right here i was just listening to it um this past week and it's been captivating for me so i wanted to i wanted to show you guys so let me do that <clears throat> And oh, it's so much for what we knew. The guns that we're sticking to, and none left to fire. And oh, no one to tell us when, when it comes around again. It's always on time. But did you see the sky fall? Did you see the world that's been calling for you? Oh, yeah. And did you hear the birds sing? Were you loving all the things that you do? Oh, yeah. They say, oh, I know what they say. They tell me this too shall pass. But if things are things never last, I guess I'm starting brand new. But yeah, that's a little bit of that. It goes on, but um, I won't. I won't take up the. Damn, bro, that gave me chills. Bro, no way. Thank you, bro. You're the, you're the most talented person I've ever had on the podcast. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, but thank you. That was really good, bro. bro It'd be crazy it. to be like your mom or dad or whatever walking through the house and like that just comes out of the bedroom. I'd be like, what? <laughs> yeah, like what? <laughs> I guess they're used to it by now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, thank you. Thank you so much. But yeah, that was awesome. Uh, thanks for coming on third time now. <laughs> Crazy. We'll see you again in a year. <laughs> a year, yeah. yeah, yeah. Unless you want to come on before then. Come on anytime you we want. Could, we could do half a year, like Christmas time. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> I am. I am, we, can, we could actually do it right after I drop the, not me drop the movie, but oh, when the movie drops. The movie drops yeah. yeah, that'd be cool. That'd be yeah, good. Hype, the, uh, hype the Christmas movie. <laughs> yeah. No, for yeah. sure. And that's I'll probably be I'll have a few songs released by then, for sure. Nice. Oh, are you doing more YouTube stuff anytime soon? Like what? Like just covers? Yeah. Um, you post them all the time. <laughs> Yo. Yeah. I mean, I kind of I kind of switched to I mean, not switch, but like I kind of was just under the impression like YouTube covers like let's just stick to Instagram and TikTok. But you know what would be interesting is that I was thinking about I could do like the like full version of the song on YouTube and then like just clips on like Instagram and TikTok. Yeah, like, yeah cause that's the thing. Like I want the whole song. I don't want like just like, yeah, <laughs> I think you should do that. I think you should. I am going to do that. I'm going to do that for sure. We decided right here. <laughs> <laughs>